Hey everybody, thanks for watching Arkansas Gun Guy, where today I've got something really interesting to show you. The High Standard Derringer, chambered in 22. Uh, this is a gun that uh, my dad always had in his drawer at home and always told me to stay away from it because it wasn't safe. And I'll talk about that, talk about that in a second. Uh, but I was just going through and cleaning up some of his old stuff and found this gun and thought, this is worth sharing because there's a whole lot wrong with this gun. Uh, if you don't know, High Standard Derringer, I believe it was produced in the uh, early 70s to the early 80s. Uh, and it's a little two shot gun. Uh, came in a simple box like this. I've seen them online as well, come in the exact same box. So, quick unboxing video. There's the gun in the box. It's unboxed. Uh, the gun has been cleared, but I'll do a quick safety check for those that like those things. So, you lift up on the uh, grip there. And against two shot number, there's uh, one round goes there, one round goes here. And there's a rota rotating firing pin in the back that fires one then the other. If it's on top, it fires the top, then it rotates to the bottom, top, bottom. Let me see if I can get this on camera. It's such a small gun, but you may be able to see a firing pin move right there, top to bottom, when I pull the trigger. I'm not sure it's gonna pick it up with my big fat fingers in there. And you can almost see it maybe, but that's what it does. Rotates top to bottom, top to bottom. Two shots, 22. Um, so load them in, close up, and you're good to go. So, seems nice. Super small, easy to conceal, right? All that seems great. But man, the crazy thing is, it doesn't have that pesky trigger guard to get in your way. So you just pick it right up, and your finger goes right on the trigger. I'm not a rocket scientist, but that seems like a safety hazard. So, uh... That feels super unsafe to me that you just put your finger, no matter how you pick it up, your finger fingers are going on the trigger. You can't hold it any other way unless you hold it like this uh, without picking it up, putting your finger on the trigger. So that seems super unsafe. Now I have seen people online and read about people who like to say, you wanna keep it in the palm of your hand and use your middle finger to, uh, to pull the trigger. That way you can use your pointing finger to guide it. And you know that's a great idea because then you get your finger up here where the bullet comes out and that's not dangerous at all. So anyway, I think this is maybe one of the most unsafe guns ever created. Maybe it's not. What guns have you seen that are super unsafe? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear. Maybe I'll go find one and do another review on that, a comparison video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching Arkansas Gun Guy. Hey, if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. It helps me so much with the algorithms on YouTube as I try to grow my whole channel. Thanks again for watching.